Well, coast is a uh, hey, a beautiful coast, eh? Now, the, if you took any notice of the weather forecast, man, you'd be disappointed, wouldn't you? I mean, look at it. It's just brilliant. Now, just going down to have a look at the the way they're cleaning up the Agfest site. What a great event. Two full days of it. I don't know the numbers, but they'll they'll come out and they'll become official. And uh, but wow, now yesterday there was 15 or 20,000 or something similar on the site here. The exhibitors, they're the heroes, and I hope. They've all made a lot of money out of the uh, out of the festival. Anderson helicopters were there yesterday and the day before, and the squirrel went uh, pretty much went all day. Brilliant to see. Now it's interesting. A lot of the a lot of the stall holders here probably spent in excess of twenty thousand dollars setting up their uh, setting up their site. You know, shifting gear in and out, and uh, this lady here is fully self-contained. Roommate cabins. There we go, folks. 027 4408 387. You saw all the diggers and all the bits and pieces appear on the site, and uh, every one of those movements of um, of, uh, of a machine costs money. Yeah, anyway, mate. Morning, guys. So a lot of a lot of the tents here now. What are we? We're we're five past ten in the morning, and a lot of the tents and a lot of the gears already been shifted. This transport is coming in and out. Uh, on a constant basis. There's all the Can Am bikes there. Now here's something I learned yesterday. Now you see the see the police tractor there? Well that's actually supplied by Norwood. And Norwood cart it all around the country. They pay all the costs. And it's there to promote the connection between the police and our community. And it provides a talking point for, for kids to come up and have a look and realise that um, that the, the police are a huge ally of theirs and ours. And it works. Should have seen it yesterday. Goodness me. This kid's sitting up getting their photo taken and it's a great thing. So here we go. The big caterpillar's there. We're behind the power farming tent, and this is the Norwood area, and it's all, a lot of the uh, a lot of the gear has already been shifted. Trucks all packed up, ready to go. And one of the major contributors here over the weekend's been Aratuna Freighters. I'm not sure how much, what what percentage of. Uh, the equipment they've shifted but it would be significant John Deere excavator there Hitachi stand it looks like a new one for Henry Adams there that's all being uh, 
you can see it up. And in the background there, folks, that's the new hospital open. And on the right-hand side, the old hospital, which is in the early stages of demolition. Now, well, to the organisers of AgFest, congratulations, you did a great job. You, you manoeuvred in and out of COVID, you manoeuvred in and out of the weather, you manoeuvred, manoeuvred in and out of sponsors being, you know, committed and then not committed and then committed. And to the major sponsors, Farmlands, you're awesome. Development West Coast, great. It's just great to see you here. And then, of course, there's the, the exhibitors. And, hey, a big thank you to every exhibitor that turned up to AgFest 2020. You made it for us, and I'd like to think that we've made it for you. I hope you sell heaps of stuff. And uh, I might just carry on and go for a bit of a wander, but bye. It was just so impressive. There we go, folks, and uh, we're from the AgFest site, Sunday morning. Hive of activity as all the vehicles, all the trucks, all the tractors, all the stands are dismantled, and uh, everybody goes home for a rest. Catch you later.